What if there was a way to use your current property to then buy more investment properties? Equity mate. In this video, I'm gonna discuss how that works and how to buy an investment property. The equity mate thing is a reference to a well-known TV ad from the 90s, but what actually is equity? Now we need to define what equity is in order for us to understand how we can actually use it. By the way, I've also done a video on debt recycling, so stick around to the end because you can click through and watch that one as well. Equity is the market value of a homeowner's unencumbered interest on their property. What does that mean? That is the difference between their home's value and what is owed on that property. I'm gonna break it down into a very simple example for you. Let's say your house is worth 500,000 and you owe the bank 300,000. You should subtract what you owe from the value and that's the equity. The equity you have in this property is $200,000. An important thing to note here is that the bank won't lend all of that equity, otherwise the bank would be lending 100% of the value of the property and that is too risky for them we're going to use a loose rule of thumb here and say that your bank will only lend up to 80% of the value of the property. Many lenders will actually go up to 90%, but for the purpose of this video, we're gonna keep it simple and use 80%. They're gonna lend up to $400,000 against the property. This means that after the $300,000 you already owe, you'll have $100,000 of usable equity to buy your investment property. Now that we understand the calculation of usable equity and the bank's perspective on these properties, how can we strategically lever this knowledge to buy an investment property? It's quite simple. You go to a mortgage broker like the team here at Will Bell Mortgage Broker, wink, wink, and we will figure out if this is possible. There are two basic things at play here. Number one, how much is the property worth? The mortgage broker will get bank valuations done to see how much equity you can use. And number two, based on your income, how much can you afford to borrow? Once you've figured this out, you can go out shopping and if you have the right strategy and you pick the right properties, you can continue to buy more in the future. A kind word of warning though, the reality is that most investors are not good investors, which is true, whether it's property or something else like stocks. Just because property always goes up, it doesn't actually mean it's easy to get rich. I have these discussions with people all the time. Your investments are just a vehicle to get what you want out of life. If you want to chat about what your objectives are and potentially how to use your equity to purchase investment properties, there will be a link in the description. So book a time to discuss with no obligation. I hope this has given you some clarity around a concept that remains elusive to many. Whilst we've talked specifically about investment properties in this video, really you could buy anything with the equity and many people will just buy anything i guess it's important to remember that whatever you're borrowing the money should be to improve your life because at the end of the day you're going to go into more debt if you like this video please subscribe as we have plenty of other valuable content like this next video on debt recycling cheers